Welcome everybody and thank you for attending our session of Find Your Future. Uh, this program was started as a result of the initiatives by the state to incorporate uh, career exploration and financial literacy standards into our curriculum. So we decided that what better place to start this than with the people here in our own building at Keith Valley. So it's an eighth grade project and what we do is invite guest speakers in that talk about their particular careers and their expertise to share with the students. We use um, many, many different forms of technology, which Mrs. Miller is going to talk about in just a bit, but I'll give you just a background of the program. Uh, the students do personality tests in the classroom, which links their personality on um, type and interest to particular uh, categories of careers. Once we get the results from those tests, we group the students into small um, groups, five different groups, and then they will work together uh, throughout the entire project. So the first day, we mainly do um, background work. We have a keynote speaker come in, and each time it's a different um, background. For example, um, last rotation we had uh, Bryn Davis from Bryn and Danes, and he talked about the um, qualities necessary to be an entrepreneur. The, uh, the next step is a scavenger hunt. And this is probably our, one of our most favorite parts of the entire program, as well as the students, because number one, they get to use the technology of their smartphones to go around the building. But what they do is, um, after finding certain clues that lead them to people in the building, they get to learn a whole different background of the teachers and the personnel here at the school. Because in addition to teaching and our responsibilities here at school, the, uh, all of the employees here have many different talents that the students were completely unaware of. So they get to share some of their background and talents with the students. And it really builds a relationship that's you know, much deeper and more meaningful. And I, as I look around the room, many of you have participated in the program um, and have worked with the students in this capacity. Uh, once we do this portion of the um, program, then they, in their small groups, they're going to be introduced to people from their specific backgrounds. And we do, uh, we do this either by Skyping with different guests or sometimes we have the guest speakers, we have a certain amount of guest speakers that come in to the, um, to the building for the program. And the students will be seeing two guest speakers they get to interview them and it really helps them work on their communication skills, their problem, problem solving skills and as well as their teamwork skills. So in addition to learning about all the different careers, they're also working on their own transferable skills that they'll need in the world of work. Um, one of the biggest benefits of the program is the technology that they use. And uh, we actually um, won a national award for this uh, particular program through Microsoft. Once the students have decided upon or have been placed into their different, we call them career clusters, and they're broken into five different areas, uh, the students then start to explore, as Maureen had mentioned, um, some of the people that we may have here within our building uh, as a resource for that particular area. And the first step that they use is called TAG technology, and it's on our smartphones. Um, we have the procedures how to download one, but we mostly know them as our QR codes that we have right here. We have little ones that you can, you can sample. And you simply take your smartphone and you scan it. And what will happen is a text message will appear on your smartphone that gives you um, directions on how to proceed. So when you walk around the building, you'll see some of those perhaps still hold, you know, hang, hanging up in some of the areas. And we have a few here for you to demo as well. And they guide the student basically on a scavenger hunt around the building. And so they like it because they get to see another resource of how they can use it not only here in the building, but also on the advertisements that they see in the newspapers or some of the products that they might want to pursue or schools and universities and books and so forth. Um, once they finish that and they come back, 
to the classroom. The following day, they start to do a presentation. And they create that presentation within their group cluster. And the presentations we've highlighted here on these four machines, we use two different um, software applications. One is Prezi, um, which is very similar to a, you know, our PowerPoint, but it's more upscale and a little bit more animated. And they really enjoy utilizing that. And then the second one is Animoto, which is a free um, video producing application where they have taken pictures and video as they have walked around on their scavenger hunt. So there's different videos that they input as well as the pictures and they put together a photographic picture of what it was that they've experienced with that cluster along with their group members. And then the final component after they've completed that is that they present it to one another. Because as we know, most students who have an interest at this level are going to change those interests as they progress throughout the rest of their school years. And this way they can obtain from the other groups some information that they might you know, tuck away in the back of their memory that they'd be able to rely on as they continue to progress and, and kind of explore their different options of career choices. So they have a lot of fun with it. And um, we'd like you to experience it. And we also have a video that I believe was created last year. Is that correct? Um, and that we're going to showcase to you. So many of us have been in other careers before we've entered into this field. And what we're always seeking to find is that um, not only does it build a connection for the students while they're here at Keith Valley, but it also allows them to see, oh, I can go into that career field or I can find out more personal information about that. So if you had a different career or even the present career that you're in and you're interested in sharing that with some of the students as they walk around in small groups, and they're really small. I mean, we don't have larger than seven or eight students at the most. Usually they're about five or six. And they have on their QR codes the message that will pop up is some questions questions to prompt them, but they're just prompts. We, we hope that they engage and um, continue to ask questions about that particular career. But there's a sign-up sheet right up here. If you would be willing to do that, we would really um, be very appreciative because it's always great to have different resources so that we're not relying on the same people who've been so generous of their time over and over again. Um, and like I said, it could be something that you've done years past. It could be something that you're still doing now. Just something that will give them some of that expertise that they really need to know so that they can make some, some choices as they progress through the years. As 21st century jobs keep evolving at a rapid pace, young people need to know what's out there by the time they are ready to enter the workforce. The Keith Valley Family and Consumer Science Department, along with the Keith Valley Technology Teachers, designed a program that incorporated a combination of new technology with a team of experts representing different career paths. This new program is designed to motivate students toward thinking about their future while using technology as a valuable discovery tool. We took a look at our school, we took a look at our standards, and we identified areas that we were missing, particularly in terms of career exploration. Um, we thought what better way to, to tie things together than to take that gap analysis and create a new technology infused project. Um, it's got 21st century skills, we're tying the financial literacy and career exploration classes with the technology education course and we developed this really interesting, um, highly motivational project for the kids to um, complete. It's going to take them three classes and then after that they're going to do a final project. Take a picture of that tag and read to us what it says. Step one of this project gives students smartphones to take pictures of a colored pattern of paper called a tag. The tag automatically brings up a message with a clue that the students have to figure out. You could be an engineer or even a gondolier, you could be an auctioneer, it doesn't matter, but listen here because you will be because it will be your career. career. Very good. Very good. Thank you. After receiving their instructions on how to use smartphones, students broke up into smaller groups based on career interest and began a scavenger hunt around the school to gain background information on their career choice. The project that we're working on right now is with the Family and Consumer Science class and it's a career education project. We're uh, introducing the students to uh, 
tag technology, which is a, a basic scavenger hunt, but you're using smartphones or mobile devices to read a uh, design and then get a clue from it and be able to travel. And we were hoping to introduce the kids to the technology, but then from that it would take them to meet with different people and to learn about their careers. Some were encouraged to read about their careers, others met with teachers or administrators who answered questions about their career choice. There are 16 career paths, so what we did was combine some of them and we came up with six. We thought that was a reasonable number for um, small group, cooperative learning groups. So we narrowed it down to six and then we had a committee of four of us that got together and had a brainstorming session and came up with what areas of interest would be um, most appropriate for the students and their interests. You will be either meeting face to face or having a Skype meeting, a video conference with somebody from your career pathway. And Step two of the project had students meeting and interviewing with adults representing their career choice. Can you describe the responsibilities in your job? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, I actually oversee all of the business office functions throughout the district, which would include everything from the accounting department to tax collection, accounts payable, payroll, child accounting, purchasing. Today was the um, culmination of all of their hard preparation, all of their interest inventories that they took, all of their career research, and uh, all of their scavenger hunt tag team um, applications around the building. So today they finally had the opportunity to meet with experts from various career pathways and interview them uh, and ask them a variety of questions about their particular career and uh, responsibilities and um, how they, what led them to that particular career. What for girls like going to the job, do they have different things they have to do to be able to there's only a handful of girls that actually do this job, and there's a lot of departments looking for them. And there's advantages to having female officers for searches. Uh, other departments arrest people, and the first thing they do is there a, is there a female officer on the zone? Bucks, can you? Well, I work in Bucks County. You know, Bucks, can you see there's a female? So there might be one in Bristol. She's got to drive all the way up to, you know, Doylestown to, to search somebody. So there's definitely an advantage, and you have an advantage because if you're in that close to the top, you have the advantage of getting hired just just for that reason, just because you're a female. After interviewing face-to-face -face or Skyping with their career choice representatives, students had to create a report as the final phase of this exercise. They were given many choices on the method of delivering their reports. What could a presentation look like that you're going to showcase? You can make a PowerPoint, sure. I'll just put PP, you'll know that's PowerPoint. Anything besides iMovie? What else? We need a website last year. Okay, so a website is another one, absolutely. What they're going to do next then is take that information and in small groups design projects to showcase that career pathway, to uh, demonstrate a little bit about what they've learned from that individual and about the career itself, and they're going to use the technologies with us. They're going to decide whether they want to make a presentation or a movie or an advertisement. So we're leaving it open to them, but there are some requirements incorporating different technologies. The goals of this program are many, but the main purpose of this program is to fill a need for career awareness. It really came as a result of us realizing things that we were not reaching at the middle school level in terms of these new career education workplace standards. So we developed it according to what we needed in both the technology side and in the career and exploration side. Designing a program that fills an educational need while keeping students engaged in the learning process was a challenge. But feedback on this first year program was encouraging. We've gotten very positive feedback from the students and from the individuals that they've met with. The uh, people who are representing the different career pathways are very um, pleased with the questions and, the, and with the ways the students are representing themselves. But the students themselves, today we had a debriefing after their meetings and they all had something really positive to share that they learned. They were excited about the information and, for, and they also have a daily assessment where they have to write down as a small group what they learned and where, what they have to do next. I think they really understand now 
the perseverance that it takes in a career, and also everybody's pathway to that specific career is different and unique. And there's certain skills such as teamwork and problem solving skills that were stressed in almost every single career pathway. So I think that's probably what I hope that they take away from this experience. By all accounts, this has been a positive experience for students, instructors, and those who gave their time to speak to students about career paths. Combining assets from the Family and Consumer Science course with the Technology Department created a new lesson plan in the curriculum. Using modern technology, these middle school students learn valuable lessons about teamwork and personal communication that should last a lifetime.